Hurricane Lane, maybe just about leading the past Irish Derby and St. Ledger winner on the inside of Point Lonsdale. Tunez is third out wide of Westover, and then two lengths last to Emily Upjohn. Just gradually turning left-handed as they reach just about the highest point on the race course and beginning the tumble down towards Tattenham Corner. Point Lonsdale shadowing Hurricane Lane. A length and a half back to West over on the inside of Tunez and still waited with Frankie de Torre at the back on Emily Upjohn. Downhill now and racing towards the final five furlongs and just inside the five and on the way down to Tattenham Corner. Hurricane Lane, the inside of Point Lonsdale. There's just nothing between the pair of them. They go stride for stride, waiting in the wings behind them. Tunes on the outside, West over. We'll just need an out at some stage there on the inside and Emily up. John as now they stretch on down the home street. Point Lonsdale serves up the challenge to Hurricane Lane. Here comes West over in third place. Tunes looks a little bit flat foot and Emily up. John begins getting a charge down the outside, a dangerous looking charge, and Emily Upjohn has quickened up superbly to lead inside the two, and she's away from Westover, then Point Lonsdale, Hurricane Lane, and Tunez, and racing down towards the final furlong is Emily Upjohn, so unlucky in the Oaks 12 months ago, stumbled at the start, making absolutely no mistake this time, this time in the Derby Coronation Cup, another Group 1 for Frankie de Torre. On the long time down to Tattenham Corner. Communique by three quarters of a length to Salouen in second. Cypress Creek is pushed up on the outside from Old Persian. They're followed by Mirando gets a shake of the reins. Marmello on the outside of these. Further back to Foe on the inside. Lati Dar, she's just lost a place or two. Lati Dar and outside her is Kew Gardens heading down into the most famous bend in the world of horse racing. Tattenham Corner. Communique round the inside of Salouen. They've gone a good gallop here. Old Persian in third goes well, followed by Cypress Creek, Marmello towards the outside. Defoe is running on behind these, then Q Gardens, and they're chased by Mirando, and out the back is Lati Dar. It's Communique and Salouen, these two head and head, chased hard by Marmello and Old Persian, and Q Gardens running on very strongly down the outside. Defoe on the inside, Q Gardens is coming through to challenge Salouen and Communique, and Defoe getting through up the inside the grey. Q Gardens from Defoe inside the final furlong. Q Gardens just in front, but Defoe is running on very strongly on the far side and beginning to get up here in the hands of Andrea Azzini. And Defoe won the Coronation Cup. Venice Beach is third on the outside of Best Solution. Then Permian and Cracksman and Crowned Eagle, followed by Rekindling. And then Dubai Thunder is further back behind these, followed by Eminent and Khalidi. Capri the Grey on the outside, just behind Rekindling, Glen Cadam Glory. Cliffs of Moher is well back with Salah and then Wings of Eagles, Peeler, and last of all is Ben Battle in the white cap, heading on the descent now towards Tattenham Corner. A furious pace in the Investec derby, being set by Douglas MacArthur and Colmo Donoghue from the Anvil in second place. Behind these in third is Venice Beach, and then on the inside in the all-blue best solution. Behind these, Cracksman is being asked to stretch now, then Permian down the outside is Capri. They're homeward bound with three and a half furlongs left to gallop. Douglas MacArthur is loose on the field, chased by the Anvil, best solution. Then Venice Beach, Cracksman begins to find his stride, now beginning into second place and eating into the leader's advantage. Permian, Capri, out very wide, Cliffs of Moher, and then Eminent. They race down inside the final two furlongs. Douglas MacArthur is chased all the way by Frankie de Torre and Cracksman, and here comes Cliffs of Moher down the wide outside under Ryan Moore, and he goes on, sweeping past both of them. Eminent battling on two, then Wings of Eagles, Cliffs of Moher, Wings of Eagles swooping though, and Wings of Eagles gets up to win. Mahalba Malyun in second, Treasure Beach on the outside of Pisco South. Castle Morris King in fifth place ahead of the Grey, which is Ocean War ahead of Mars Marvel. Vadimar comes next with Native Khan, Carlton House towards the outside of the field at this stage, behind the Seville Recital and Hormois. So Memphis, Tennessee on the descent leads by three to four lengths as the leader approaches.
Beaches, Tattenham Corner, Mahalba Malyun is ridden along in second as Treasure Beach moves through to take that position from Pisco Sour Mask Marble. Carlton House moving up towards the outside of the field with the grey on the inside native car as now they straighten the Memphis Tennessee lead still by four lengths. Treasure Beach is in second, native car into third. Carlton House down the outside, then the pink colours towards the inner of Recycle. Plenty with a lot to do at this stage as they make their way now with a furlong and a half to Chad Race. Memphis Tennessee from Treasure Beach, Carlton House towards the outside, then in fourth native cars. Recycle comes next, Paul Moir from a long way back. Treasure Beach got to the front in the derby. Memphis, Tennessee and Carlton House in hot pursuit. Out in front, Treasure Beach from in second, Carlton House. Paul Moir coming strongly down the outside. Treasure Beach just in front. Paul Moir coming on the outside and celebrates as if he's won the derby. Mikel Barcelona, the judge mainly needed. 